watch this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new punk rock videos every week and tap the bell to get notified when new videos drop. My name is Aaron Micklow, and I'm here with two of the guys from Desperate Measures. Introduce yourselves. I'm um, Eugene. I'm the singer. I'm Gaff. I'm the guitarist. Woo! <laughs> I'm Welcome! Ex I'm excited to see you guys play tonight. We're here at Rebellion, and you guys play the Emperor stage really late tonight, 12.15, midnight. Yeah. So what kind of things do you guys do to prepare for a show? Well, in general, or a late slot? Yeah. Uh, both. Both. Just try not to get pissed before the gig really yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. try and stay sober that's the name of the game tonight but we've just had she had a run through uh, in our um, hotel room acoustic lead through the whole set we take it pretty professionally you know and yeah. then we get wrecked about 10 minutes before we play <laughs> give it loads what of bollocks do you do shots or like what do you do before you go oh, no, 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 i can't stand shots no. yeah so we have a few beers for a bit of courage and stuff like that yeah, yeah definitely yeah, yeah. Well, so you have a new lineup now. You're originally from New Zealand. That's where that's the band right. started. Yep. Yeah. It started in 1982. It's actually our 40th anniversary oh. tonight. So we're going to announce that. I only remembered the other day. So, uh, yeah, but uh, bought, reformed the band back in 2010, playing in New Zealand with the UK subs and came back to England where I've been living for a long time and wanted to get the lineup together. And we got Gaff on board. We got Ricky on bass. He used to be in the UK subs as well. And we've got James on drums, who's been in a lot of bands as well. So it all seems to be going pretty well. And so how did you guys come together to form this, this current lineup? Uh, Probably just really smashed after an all night party for the Viva oh, La Rock yeah. Awards. <laughs> it was your night, Viva La Rock Awards. Yeah. yeah. And um, it carried on into the next day. And uh, we were in some pub where, like, near where we lived. And he just said to me, Wait, I hope you want to come down and try an audition. And I was like, okay. And it went well. And that was it. We just went from there. That yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We kind of just clicked, really, especially me and Gaff. We're writing some good songs, and Gaff's got loads of ideas, and I'll bounce off them. And it's really taken off a bit. And we released this new record called Rinsed uh, in October. Did a tour of the professionals and mighty professionals, and uh, it all seems to be going all right. So, so far, so good. That's amazing. That's yeah. so exciting. Can you yeah. talk about the recording of this new album and kind of what your process is when you go in to make new music? Well, generally, I would start off with a demo, so I'd get the music down, and sometimes I might do the melody as well, but other times you usually come in and do it. So we'll do that, and then we'll go into a, a rehearsal room, work it up in a room, all bands do, I suppose. Yeah. And, and then we go in, and the usual setup, drums first, bass, and then lay it, lay it, lay it. Yeah. And that, in a nutshell, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got a really good uh, friend who's a good producer. He's worked with Status Quo and stuff, and some big bands and he really makes it feel at ease and, and we really just you know that's pretty fast isn't it we, we get yeah, stuff it's really down rapid. pretty fast yeah it's, it's very yeah. rapid process which yeah. is great you yeah. know, it's sound of a good band if like it doesn't need to be contrived yeah. or yeah. They, like you're pulling teeth it just happens naturally and it did and it does yeah. that's awesome. you've got to be pretty well rehearsed up before you go in and then you don't miss around and stuff so yeah yeah, yeah and yeah, it seems good. like you guys do that obviously having done another rehearsal in your room today for tonight's show yeah, we shouldn't have said that it sounds like we're too <laughs> professional but you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're not goody goodies, really. We're not, honestly. Yeah, yeah you just want to you want to turn out. I get yeah, it. Yeah, it's a long way to wait tonight, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like, what are you going to do sober for all these hours? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go on the arcades or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So um, let's talk about 
Viva La Rock that you mentioned where you guys met. That's your your magazine. Yeah. I'm familiar with it. You've published an image of me that Dodd Morrison shot. That's right. Um, yeah. And you're all on issue 94 now. Yep, yeah, 94, 95. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we started it uh, 12 years ago and um, I had a magazine before that called Big Cheese, which was more Green Day and skate punk and stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, that was an old, a younger audience and I wanted to do more old stuff, a bit like the Rebellion audience. So... Uh, Turned it round, and um, luckily for me and everyone involved, it's sort of gone quite well, and it's sort of yeah. worldwide. And we've got this thing called the Viva La Rock Awards, which we're doing again next April. Okay. With a lot of all-star bands, we've had the Damned and the Stranglers on, the Buzzcocks, all sorts of people, and it's kind of like a really good thing that we promote and keep the scene alive a bit, you know. And that's, yeah. that's one kind of what we're into. That's awesome. Mm. Well, so what is the Viva La Rock Awards exactly? It's just a celebration of some of the legends of the music scene. Um, and do you actually give out awards? Like yeah, award we do. Shows? We do. Yeah, we gave an do award you? to Susie Quattro and the Stranglers and, and the Damned and stuff like that. And we, and we have some legendary people playing. Um, and next year, it's actually, it was we stopped it in 2020 because it got cancelled because of COVID. Yeah. So it's now 2023 in April, Shepherd's Bush Empire. And um, we got people like the Lords of the New Church, which is a legendary gothy punk band with Michael Monroe singing for them. We got people like the Dan playing. Neville Staple from the specials. You know, there's a lot of legends coming down. People from, from the rebellion scene, basically. Yeah. 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 I mean, this yeah. is such a big festival with so many bands that it is kind of easy to run into the same people over and over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a big family. It, is, it yeah. sounds a bit silly, but it is a big family, this whole thing, isn't it? It is. I yeah. mean, I've I've only been attending. This is my third year, and I felt very welcome. They, yeah. Everyone has made me feel, yeah. you know, very just a part of the group. I, people probably hate me for saying this, but um, I think the punk scene now has got a bit of a hippie vibe to it. Yeah. It has. Everyone's really cool and chilled out. And, you know, it's like when I grew up in the 80s, everyone wanted to beat each other up. But um, it's all pretty chilled out. Well, there's out, still though. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So have you guys ever had any fights in the band in this current lineup yet? Ooh. Ooh. Well, <laughs> I'll someone take that as a yes. Someone who's quiet in the corner, naming no names. No, no, it's all it's all harmonious and no, nice. No, no, no. Well, <laughs> yeah. I don't believe this. This guy over here, he's laughing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Come on, tell yeah. me the story. No, I'm not, no, no, no we, 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 we can't. What, what goes on in desperate <laughs> measures stays in desperate measures. Yeah. No, of course we get on well though, don't we? Yeah. 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 Sometimes. I think I think it's sometimes the alcohol and and uh, various things can uh, push things to the limit a little bit. I was chatting with Bouncing Souls yesterday, and I asked them that because they've been a, they've been three of the guys have been in the same band for. 33 yeah, years. Assault, yeah. yeah, and they had said that was, and they said they had one where they almost beat the living shit out of each other, and then they Jesus. were about to, and then they just looked at each other and laughed. And yeah. Then that one, they, yeah. Obviously, yeah. substances were involved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty stressful, though, sometimes doing band stuff and gigs. Yeah, it's like. Like I said before, it's, it's straightforward and easy, but sometimes it can be a fucking pain in the ass. But, yeah. you know, the, the travel, we love, the organisation. We love it so much yeah, that it yeah. doesn't matter. It's good yeah. to be on stage and play for people, but yeah, there's a lot of work goes into it, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. everything, I think a lot of people don't realise that, you know, the music industry, it is it is an industry. It's a professional working environment and maybe some people see it as such and then some people don't, it, but it's a lot that goes on to putting, you know, yeah, for sure. All of these things on. It's like you don't just you know just get up on stage and Oh no. No, there's no there's yeah, and then you know, and most musicians don't make anything out of it. Yeah. You do it for the love, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um so yeah, you know, it's uh we love it. We love it. Damn love, What are some of your favorite songs that you're looking forward to playing tonight? Yeah. All of them. Yeah. No, we're doing one or two covers that people will see. Well, in here we'll see. Um, just probably the newest stuff because like any band, 
you want to play your new songs. Yeah, and that's obviously the stuff that you guys wrote as this current yeah. lineup yeah, yeah. as well. Gaff wrote a good new one called Thinking of England, which is kind of on a lovely summer's day with everyone out here in Blackpool. Thinking of England, you know, it's going to go down well. Yeah. It is open, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> open. for that one. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, we got, we got a couple of old songs from Desperate Measures in the 80s. We still played in um, 1984, which is our first single, in 1982. Like, you know, 40 years ago. So um, we still play that, and it's kind of a bit of a tribally post-punk thing. It goes down well, so we, we mix it up with the new stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, so I, I have been wanting to ask, what made you move here from New Zealand? That is kind of random. Um, my father was English, and I just loved oh. the music scene and the culture, and youth culture generally, really. You know, I just want to be part of all this, and I... Took me a while, but I got involved in the punk scene, and you know, well, I always was. So, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. kind of like you know, yeah, the UK is is a hub for it. There's, yeah, you know, in California we have our scene, yeah. New York has their scene, and then it's like the UK. I mean, honestly, it's like there's some bands coming out of that area of New Zealand and Australia. We don't hear as as much of like yeah. a really pop and scene like those hubs. Yeah, no, there was a good scene back in the day there, you know, so um, came over here and went straight down the 100 Club on a Tuesday and Thursday, and met Charlie Harper after about two days in the country. So, you know, it's just all went from there, really. You know? Yeah. But been, England's always been what I wanted it to be, and it's my home now, so, you know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you have the accent. It was like <laughs> you have you have an English accent now. Accent is, <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of mix. Some yeah. kind of mix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that's all the questions I have for yeah. you guys. I okay. want to say thank you. Got anything to say, Gaff? That's all. Looking forward to getting on stage tonight. Yeah. And having some beers after. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we're going to go and have a little quiet drink in a minute. Yeah. Maybe eat something and then uh, wait around a bit more. <laughs> Yes, yeah. it was still, you still got a lot of hours till you're set. It's all right. We, 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 we're nearly there. Once we get down at 10 o'clock, we've got to be backstage at 10 o'clock. Okay. And then that countdown is cool. So, yeah, we can watch a bit of a band and stuff. Awesome. Yeah, well, can. thank you, guys. Well, thank you. Thank thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. We're Desperate Measures. And you're watching Last Rockers TV.